Types of current and their applications. Types of current. Alternating current, AC. Alternating current, AC, is a type of electric current in which the direction of the flow of electric charges periodically reverses. Unlike direct current, DC, where charges flow in a single direction, AC alternates its direction of flow in a regular and repeating pattern. AC is the type of current used for most electrical power distribution systems and has numerous applications in electronics and technology. Key Characteristics of Alternating Current, AC Periodic reversal refers to the cyclical and regular change in a physical quantity, such as voltage or current, where it alternates between positive and negative values in a repeating pattern. This concept is commonly associated with alternating current, AC, where the direction of current flow and the polarity of voltage alternate back and forth at a specific frequency. Key points about periodic reversal in the context of AC. Alternating direction in an AC circuit, the flow of electric charges reverses direction periodically. This means the charges, usually electrons, move first in one direction and then in the opposite direction in a continuous cycle. Voltage polarity reversal, along with the direction of current, the polarity of the voltage across the circuit components also changes periodically. When the current changes direction, the voltage across the component changes from positive to negative and vice versa. Sinusoidal waveform, the most common waveform for AC is a sinusoidal, sine wave, pattern. In this waveform, the voltage and current smoothly increase from zero to their peak positive values, decrease to zero again, and then continue to their peak negative values before returning to zero. Frequency, the rate at which the reversal occurs is determined by the frequency of the AC signal, usually measured in Hertz HZ. Frequency indicates how many times the reversal happens in one second. Phase shift, in AC systems, different components can experience phase shifts, which means they reach their peak values at different points in time within the AC cycle. These phase differences can have important implications for power distribution and synchronization. Power generation and transmission, periodic reversal is a key feature of AC power systems. AC generators create alternating voltage and current patterns, which can be transformed to different voltage levels using transformers for efficient power transmission. Uses of periodic reversal, AC is widely used for power distribution, electric motors, transformers, lighting, and most household appliances. Complex analysis, analyzing AC circuits often involves working with complex numbers and phasers to account for the alternating nature of voltage and current. Benefits of AC AC is preferred for long-distance power transmission due to its ability to be transformed easily using transformers. It's also suitable for many types of devices that require a changing direction of current, such as electric motors. In summary, periodic reversal is a characteristic of alternating current, AC, where the flow of electric charges alternates in direction and the voltage polarity changes in a repeating pattern. This feature of AC is essential for efficient power distribution and operation of numerous electrical devices and systems. Voltage alternation refers to the cyclical change in the polarity of voltage in an electrical circuit, typically associated with alternating current AC systems. In AC circuits, the voltage across components and the overall circuit alternates between positive and negative values in a regular and repeating pattern, creating a sinusoidal waveform. Key points about voltage alternation in AC systems. Polarity reversal, voltage alternation involves the reversal of voltage polarity. The voltage changes from positive to negative and vice versa as the current direction changes in an AC circuit. Sinusoidal waveform, the voltage alternation in an AC circuit follows a sinusoidal waveform. This waveform resembles the shape of a sine curve, with a smooth transition from zero voltage to positive peak voltage back to zero, then to negative peak voltage, and finally back to zero again. Frequency, the rate at which the voltage alternates its polarity is determined by the frequency of the AC signal. Frequency is usually measured in Hertz HC, representing the number of complete cycles per second. Peak voltage, the peak voltage refers to the maximum positive or negative value reached by the voltage waveform during each cycle. 
Root mean square, RMS, voltage, while the peak voltage represents the highest value, the effective value of AC voltage is often specified as the root mean square, RMS, voltage. The RMS voltage is the equivalent DC voltage that would produce the same amount of power in a resistive load. Uses of voltage alternation, voltage alternation is a fundamental characteristic of AC power systems. AC voltage alternation allows for efficient power transmission over long distances and is essential for the operation of electric motors, transformers, lighting, and various electrical devices. Complex analysis. Analyzing AC circuits involves considering the alternating nature of voltage and current. Complex numbers and phasors are often used to analyze the phase relationships and magnitudes of AC signals. Benefits of AC voltage alternation AC voltage alternation, along with the ability to change voltage levels using transformers, is a key reason why AC is preferred for power distribution and transmission over long distances. In summary, voltage alternation is a defining characteristic of AC systems, where the polarity of voltage changes periodically, creating a sinusoidal waveform. This alternating voltage pattern is the basis for the efficient transmission of electrical power and the operation of numerous electrical devices. Frequency and period are fundamental concepts used to describe the behavior of repetitive phenomena, such as waveforms and oscillations. These concepts are particularly important in the context of alternating current, AC, electrical systems, where voltage and current exhibit periodic behavior. Frequency Frequency, F, is a measure of how often a periodic event, such as a waveform, completes one full cycle in a given amount of time. In AC systems, frequency represents how many times the voltage or current waveform completes one full cycle per second. It is typically measured in Hertz HC, where 1 Hertz is equal to 1 cycle per second. Mathematically, the relationship between frequency and time period. T is given by equals 1 F equals T 1 where F is the frequency in Hertz HZ. T is the time period in seconds, S, which is the time required for one complete cycle. Period. Period. T is the duration required for one full cycle of a periodic event to occur. It is the reciprocal of frequency, meaning that the period is the time interval between successive identical points on a waveform. Mathematically, the relationship between period and frequency is given by equals 1 t equals f 1 where t is the period in seconds s f is the frequency in hertz hz Key points about frequency and period. Inverse relationship, frequency and period have an inverse relationship. As the frequency increases, the period decreases, and vice versa. Waveform behavior, in AC systems, frequency determines how quickly the voltage or current waveform alternates between positive and negative values. Standard AC frequencies, the standard frequencies for AC power systems vary around the world. Common frequencies include 50 Hz and 60 Hz. Wavelength, in wave phenomena, the wavelength is related to the frequency and the speed of the wave. Wavelength is the distance between two consecutive identical points on the wave. Units, frequency is measured in Hz Hz, and period is measured in seconds, s. Applications, understanding frequency and period is crucial for designing and operating AC electrical systems as well as for analyzing waveforms in various fields, including electronics, communications, and physics. In summary, frequency and period are interrelated concepts that describe the repetitive behavior of waveforms and oscillations. In the context of AC systems, frequency determines how quickly voltage and current alternate, while period represents the time it takes for one full cycle to occur. An AC waveform also known as an alternating current waveform, is a graphical representation of the variation of voltage or current over time in an alternating current, AC, electrical circuit. The AC waveform shows how the polarity and magnitude of the voltage or current change as it alternates between positive and negative values in a regular and repeating pattern.
The most common type of AC waveform is the sinusoidal waveform, often referred to as a sine wave. The sine wave is a smooth and symmetrical curve that resembles the shape of a sine function from trigonometry. It is characterized by the following properties. Symmetry, the sine wave is symmetrical with respect to its peak value, zero crossings, and time axis. Periodicity, the waveform repeats itself in equal cycles, meaning that after one complete cycle, it starts all over again. Peak value, the peak value, also known as the amplitude, represents the maximum positive or negative value of the waveform. Frequency, the frequency of the AC waveform determines how many complete cycles occur in one second. It is typically measured in Hertz HZ. Phase shift, in some cases, AC waveforms can have phase shifts, indicating a time lag or lead between two waveforms of the same frequency. Phase shift is often measured in degrees or radians. Root mean square, RMS, value, the effective value of the AC waveform is often specified as the root mean square, RMS, value. The RMS value is equivalent to the direct current, DC, value that would produce the same amount of power in a resistive load. The AC waveform is a fundamental concept in AC electrical systems, and its characteristics have significant implications for power distribution, signal processing, and the operation of various electrical devices. The sinusoidal AC waveform is particularly important because it simplifies the analysis of AC circuits and has natural relationships with trigonometric functions, making it a fundamental basis for understanding AC theory. AC generators, also known as alternators, are devices that convert mechanical energy into alternating current, AC, electrical energy. They play a crucial role in generating the AC power used for electricity distribution, powering homes, industries, and various electronic devices. AC generators are a cornerstone of modern power generation and are commonly found in power plants and other energy production facilities. Key points about AC generators Principle of operation, AC generators operate based on the principle of electromagnetic induction. When a conductor, usually a loop of wire, is moved through a magnetic field or experiences a changing magnetic field, a voltage is induced in the conductor. This induced voltage creates an electric current if the circuit is closed. Faraday's law, AC generators are based on Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, which states that a change in magnetic flux through a conductor induces an electromotive force, EMF, or voltage. Components AC generators consist of several essential components, including a rotor, armature, a stator, and a magnetic field source, usually in the form of magnets or electromagnets. Rotor and stator The rotor is the rotating part of the generator that contains the conductor or wire loops. The stator is the stationary part that surrounds the rotor and houses the magnetic field source. Alternating voltage generation As the rotor rotates within the magnetic field, the changing magnetic flux induces an alternating voltage in the wire loops. This voltage alternates in polarity and magnitude, creating an AC waveform. Frequency and voltage The frequency of the generated AC voltage depends on the rotational speed of the rotor and the number of poles in the magnetic field. Common frequencies are 50 Hz or 60 Hz, depending on regional standards. Synchronization and grid integration AC generators used in power plants must be synchronized with the existing power grid to ensure that the generated AC waveform is in phase with the grid's waveform. This synchronization allows smooth integration and sharing of electrical power. Power generation AC generators are used in various power generation methods, including coal fired, natural gas, hydroelectric, and nuclear power plants. The mechanical energy to rotate the generator's rotor can be obtained from steam, water turbines, or other sources. Applications AC generators are used not only in power generation but also in various applications requiring AC power, such as backup generators, portable generators, and some forms of renewable energy systems. AC generators have revolutionized the way electricity is generated, transmitted, and distributed. They provide the backbone of our electrical power infrastructure, allowing us to access the electrical energy needed for our modern lifestyles and industries.
Power transmission refers to the process of moving electrical energy from a power source, such as a power plant, to consumers, industries, and various locations where electricity is needed. Efficient power transmission is essential for delivering electrical energy over long distances while minimizing losses and ensuring a stable and reliable supply of electricity. Key points about power transmission. Power generation, electrical power is generated in power plants using various sources such as coal, natural gas, nuclear, hydroelectric, solar, and wind. The generated power is in the form of alternating current, AC, at specific frequencies, commonly 50 Hz or 60 Hz. Power substation, before transmission, the generated AC power is typically stepped up in voltage using transformers at a power substation. This higher voltage reduces transmission losses during long-distance transportation. High-voltage transmission, high-voltage transmission lines, often referred to as transmission grids, carry the stepped-up AC power over long distances. These lines consist of towers and conductors that facilitate efficient energy transfer. AC and HVDC transmission, alternating current, AC, is commonly used for power transmission due to its ease of generation and distribution. However, for very long-distance transmission or under certain conditions, high-voltage direct current HVDC, transmission is used as it can reduce transmission losses and provide better control over power flow. Losses in efficiency, transmission of electricity over long distances incurs losses due to resistance in the transmission lines. Higher voltages reduce these losses, as power loss is proportional to the square of the current and inversely proportional to the voltage. Step-down substations, near consumption areas, another set of substations steps down the voltage to levels suitable for distribution and consumption. Distribution networks, distribution networks consist of medium voltage and low voltage lines that deliver electricity to homes, businesses, and industries. These networks are designed to provide electricity to local areas efficiently. Grid stability, maintaining grid stability and balancing supply and demand is crucial for preventing blackouts and ensuring a consistent power supply. Smart grids, modern power transmission systems often incorporate smart grid technologies to monitor and control power flow, optimize distribution, and enhance reliability. Renewable energy integration, power transmission plays a vital role in integrating renewable energy sources like solar and wind into the grid as these sources may be located far from population centers. International Power Exchange, power transmission networks also enable international power exchanges, where surplus power generated in one region can be sold to neighboring regions. Efficient power transmission is vital for meeting the electricity needs of modern societies. Advances in transmission technologies, grid management, and renewable energy integration continue to shape the future of power transmission, aiming for greater efficiency, sustainability, and reliability. Alternating current, AC, has several advantages that make it the preferred choice for most power distribution and many electrical applications. Here are some key advantages of AC. Efficient power transmission, AC is well suited for long distance power transmission due to its ability to be easily transformed using transformers. High voltage AC can be transmitted over long distances with reduced losses, as power loss is proportional to the square of the current and inversely proportional to the voltage. Transformers, AC can be easily stepped up or stepped down in voltage using transformers. This is crucial for efficient power distribution as high voltages reduce transmission losses and lower voltages are safer for end users. AC generators and motors, AC generators, alternators, are more practical and efficient for generating electrical power, and AC motors are simpler and more reliable than their DC counterparts, making them suitable for a wide range of industrial applications. Synchronization and power sharing, AC generators can be synchronized with the power grid, allowing for efficient power sharing and integration of power from multiple sources. Ease of voltage conversion, AC voltage can be easily converted from one level to another using transformers, which is important for adapting to different voltage requirements of industrial, commercial, and residential areas. Phenomena of induction and mutual inductance, AC allows for the use of electromagnetic induction and mutual inductance, which are key principles for devices like transformers and inductors. 
Energy generation, many power sources such as generators and power plants naturally produce AC, converting AC to DC, rectification is relatively straightforward using diodes, enabling the generation of DC power when needed. Standardization, AC power generation and distribution standards have been established globally. Most countries use either 50 Hz or 60 Hz as the standard frequency for their AC power systems. Cost-effective generation, AC generators are generally more cost-effective to build and maintain compared to DC generators. Safety and reduced risk of electrolysis, AC power naturally alternates direction, reducing the risk of electrolysis, damage to conductors due to one-way flow, and limiting corrosion in metal pipes and structures. Compatibility with appliances, many appliances and devices used in homes and industries are designed to work with AC power. Converting AC to DC can be done using rectifiers, inverters, and power supplies. Historical development, AC power distribution and transmission systems were developed early in the history of electricity, contributing to their widespread adoption and integration into infrastructure. While AC has numerous advantages, it's important to note that DC, direct current, also has its own set of applications and advantages. The choice between AC and DC depends on the specific requirements of the application and the technological advancements available to efficiently utilize each type of current. AC frequency refers to the rate at which an alternating current AC waveform completes one full cycle of alternating polarity within a specific time interval. It's a fundamental characteristic of AC power systems and determines how rapidly the voltage or current alternates between positive and negative values. Key points about AC frequency. Measurement unit AC frequency is measured in Hertz HC, where 1 Hertz represents one complete cycle per second. For example, a frequency of 50 Hertz means that the AC waveform completes 50 cycles of alternation in one second. Standard frequencies, different regions and countries around the world use standard AC frequencies for their power systems. The most common standards are 50 Hertz and 60 Hertz. Historical factors, the choice of AC frequency was often influenced by historical developments, availability of equipment, and early power system design. Power generation, AC generators, or alternators, are designed to produce AC with a specific frequency. The rotational speed of the generator's rotor and the number of poles in the magnetic field determine the frequency of the generated AC waveform. Synchronization, AC generators used for power generation must be synchronized with the existing power grid to ensure that the generated AC waveform is in phase with the grid's waveform. This synchronization is crucial for maintaining grid stability. Compatibility, the frequency of AC power can impact the operation of devices that rely on the timing of AC cycles, such as electric clocks, motor-driven appliances, and electronic equipment. Effects of frequency, lower AC frequencies may result in perceptible flickering of lights and affect the performance of some sensitive equipment. However, most modern electronic devices are designed to handle a range of frequencies. Global standardization, in regions where multiple countries share a common power grid, it's important to have standardized AC frequencies to ensure interoperability and efficient power exchange. HVDC and frequency conversion, in certain cases, high-voltage direct current, HVDC, transmission systems are used to transmit power between grids with different frequencies. In these cases, the HVDC system can convert the AC power to DC and then back to AC at the desired frequency. Frequency stability, maintaining a stable AC frequency is essential for grid stability and proper operation of devices. Deviations from the standard frequency can have significant implications for power distribution. In summary, AC frequency is a critical parameter in AC power systems, influencing the operation of electrical devices, power generation, and the synchronization of power grids. Standardization of frequency within a region or country ensures consistent and reliable power distribution. Complex circuits refer to electrical circuits that contain multiple interconnected components, such as resistors, capacitors, inductors, and active devices like transistors and integrated circuits. These circuits often exhibit more intricate behavior and require advanced analysis techniques to understand their operation and behavior.
Key points about complex circuits. Combination of components, complex circuits are composed of various passive and active components that interact with each other to perform specific functions, such as amplification, filtering, modulation, and more. Series and parallel configurations. Components in complex circuits can be arranged in series or parallel configurations, affecting the overall impedance, voltage, and current distribution in the circuit. Kirchhoff's laws. Kirchhoff's laws, including Kirchhoff's current law, KCL, and Kirchhoff's voltage law, KVL, are fundamental tools for analyzing complex circuits. KCL states that the sum of currents entering a node is equal to the sum of currents leaving the node, while KVL states that the sum of voltages around any closed loop in a circuit is zero. Node and Mesh Analysis For complex circuits, Techniques like node analysis and mesh analysis are used to systematically solve for the unknown voltages and currents in the circuit. Superposition theorem. The superposition theorem allows complex circuits to be broken down into simpler parts for analysis. It states that the response, voltage or current, across a component due to multiple sources can be determined by considering the response to each source individually and then adding them up. AC circuit analysis. Complex circuits involving alternating current, AC, require the use of phasors, which are complex numbers representing the amplitude and phase of AC quantities. AC circuit analysis involves considering the phase relationships between voltage and current components. Transient analysis, in circuits with reactive components like capacitors and inductors, transient analysis is used to study the circuit's behavior during the transition from one steady-state condition to another typically during startup or switching. Advanced components, complex circuits can incorporate active devices like transistors, operational amplifiers, op-amps, and digital logic components. These devices introduce additional complexity due to their non-linear behavior and intricate internal workings. Simulation tools, simulation software such as SPICE, simulation program with integrated circuit emphasis, allows engineers and designers to model and analyze complex circuits, predicting their behavior before physically building them. Application diversity, complex circuits are used in a wide range of applications, from simple electronic devices to advanced communication systems, power electronics, control systems, and more. Understanding and analyzing complex circuits is a fundamental skill for electrical engineers and electronics enthusiasts. While they may be more challenging to work with than simple circuits, they enable the design and development of advanced technologies that shape our modern world. Direct current, DC, is a type of electric current characterized by the consistent and unidirectional flow of electric charges. In a DC circuit, the flow of charges occurs in a single direction, from the positive terminal of a voltage source to the negative terminal. DC is commonly used in various electronic devices, batteries, and specific applications where a steady and controlled flow of current is required. Unidirectional flow refers to the movement of something in a single direction or along a specific path without any reversals or changes in direction. This term is often used in various contexts to describe the one-way movement of substances, energy, or information. Here are a few examples of unidirectional flow in different contexts. Electric current, in direct current, DC, circuits, electric current flows in a unidirectional manner, meaning that the flow of electric charges, usually electrons, is continuous and in the same direction. Fluids and gases, in certain systems, such as pipelines or ventilation systems, the flow of fluids or gases can be controlled to move in a unidirectional manner from one point to another. Information flow, in communication systems, data can be transmitted in a unidirectional manner from a sender to a receiver, with no back-and-forth interaction between the two. Traffic flow, traffic on one-way streets or highways moves in a unidirectional manner, with vehicles only allowed to travel in a single direction. Workflow, unidirectional workflow in processes or systems involves a linear progression of steps, tasks, or stages without any looping back. Conveyor belts, in manufacturing and logistics, conveyor belts can be designed to move objects in a unidirectional manner, facilitating efficient material handling. One-way valves, mechanical and fluid systems often incorporate one-way valves that allow the flow of a substance in only one direction while preventing backflow. 
Linear accelerators, in particle physics and medical applications, linear accelerators accelerate charged particles in a straight path, providing a unidirectional increase in energy. Unidirectional flow is often intentionally designed or controlled to achieve specific goals, such as efficient energy transfer, data transmission, or material transport. It's a concept that appears in various scientific, engineering, and everyday scenarios. Constant magnitude refers to a value or quantity that remains the same, maintaining a fixed numerical value or magnitude over time or under specific conditions. This concept is commonly used in various fields, including physics, mathematics, engineering, and everyday life. Key points about constant magnitude Steady value, a quantity with a constant magnitude does not change in value as time progresses or as conditions vary. Magnitude versus direction, while the magnitude remains constant, the direction of the quantity can still change without affecting its constant magnitude. For example, in circular motion, the speed of an object can remain constant even though its direction changes continuously. Physical quantities, examples of quantities with constant magnitude include constant speed, constant temperature, constant pressure, and constant mass. Mathematical context, in mathematics, constants are values that do not change. For example, in the equation, equals plus y equals mx plus b, where m and b are constants, their magnitudes remain the same regardless of the values of x and y. Physical laws, many fundamental physical laws and principles involve quantities with constant magnitudes, such as Newton's law of universal gravitation and Coulomb's law of electrostatics. Control systems, in control systems engineering, maintaining constant magnitudes of certain parameters can be critical for stable and reliable system operation. Steady state, in some contexts, constant magnitude may refer to the behavior of a system in a steady state where certain properties remain unchanged over time. Uniform motion, in physics, constant magnitude is often associated with uniform motion, where a physical quantity like speed or velocity remains the same. Measurement units, a constant magnitude can be expressed using appropriate measurement units to define the specific value being discussed. Overall, the concept of constant magnitude is essential for understanding the behavior of various physical quantities, mathematical relationships, and systems in which values remain steady and unchanging. Battery-powered devices are electronic devices that operate using electrical energy stored in batteries. These devices are widely used in everyday life, ranging from portable electronics and communication devices to medical equipment and remote sensors. Batteries provide a portable and self-contained source of power, enabling these devices to operate without being directly connected to a power outlet. Key points about battery-powered devices Energy storage, batteries store chemical energy that can be converted into electrical energy when needed. This stored energy powers the device's components and functions. Portable and mobile, battery-powered devices are highly portable and can be used in various locations without needing a constant external power source. This mobility is advantageous for applications such as laptops, smartphones, and wearable devices. Variety of battery types, battery-powered devices use a range of battery types, including alkaline batteries, lithium-ion batteries, nickel-metal hydride batteries, and more. The choice of battery depends on factors such as energy capacity, size, weight, and application requirements. Rechargeable versus non-rechargeable, some battery-powered devices use non-rechargeable batteries, which are discarded when their energy is depleted. Others use rechargeable batteries that can be recharged and reused multiple times. Battery life, the duration a battery-powered device can operate on a single battery charge is determined by the device's power consumption, the battery's capacity, and the efficiency of the power management system. Power management, battery-powered devices often incorporate power management systems to optimize energy usage, extend battery life, and provide alerts when battery levels are low. Diverse applications, battery-powered devices are used in a wide range of applications, including smartphones, laptops, digital cameras, remote controls, medical devices, portable gaming consoles, fitness trackers, and more.
environmental considerations disposal of batteries particularly non-rechargeable types requires proper handling due to potential environmental impact recycling programs and eco-friendly battery options are available charging infrastructure rechargeable battery powered devices require access to charging infrastructure such as power outlets or usb charging ports the availability of charging solutions is an important consideration for device usage. Advancements, advances in battery technology, such as improvements in energy density and charging efficiency, have led to longer battery life and faster charging times for many devices. Energy efficient design, manufacturers of battery powered devices often focus on energy efficient designs, including low power components and sleep modes to maximize battery life. Battery-powered devices have become an integral part of modern life, offering convenience, mobility, and flexibility. As battery technology continues to evolve, these devices are likely to become even more efficient and capable of supporting a wider range of applications. Electron flow refers to the movement of electrons within a conductor, such as a wire or a circuit. Electrons are negatively charged subatomic particles that carry electric charge. In a conductor, when a voltage, potential difference, is applied across its ends, electrons can move in response to this voltage, creating an electric current. Key points about electron flow Direction of electron flow Electron flow occurs from the negatively charged terminal, usually labeled as minus or cathode, to the positively charged terminal, usually labeled as plus or anode, of a voltage source. This direction is opposite to the conventional current flow which was historically defined as the flow of positive charges from the positive to the negative terminal. Drift velocity, electrons in conductors do not flow at very high speeds like the speed of light. Instead, they exhibit a relatively slow average velocity, known as drift velocity, due to collisions with lattice ions and other electrons. Collision and heat generation, as electrons move through a conductor, they collide with atoms and ions in the material. These collisions result in resistance to the flow of electrons and generate heat. Random thermal motion Electrons also experience random thermal motion even when there's no applied voltage. However, in the presence of an electric field, voltage, there's a net movement of electrons in a particular direction. Conventional current versus electron flow Despite the historical convention of defining current as the flow of positive charges, modern physics and electronics commonly use electron flow as the reference for describing the movement of charge carriers. Components and circuits In electrical circuits, electron flow results in the operation of various components such as resistors, capacitors, and diodes. The movement of electrons through components generates electric fields, voltage drops, and various circuit behaviors. Semiconductors, in semiconductors, the flow of electrons or electron holes, absence of electrons, is critical for the operation of transistors and other electronic devices. Current measurement, in practical applications, devices and instruments often measure and display conventional current, which is the opposite of electron flow. However, the underlying physics involves the movement of electrons. Understanding electron flow is essential for understanding how electrical circuits and devices work, as it provides insight into the behavior of current, voltage, and the interactions of charge carriers within conductors and semiconductors. Applications in the context of electronics and electrical engineering refer to the various practical uses and real-world scenarios where electronic devices, circuits, systems, and technologies are employed to achieve specific functions or solve specific problems. Electronics and electrical engineering have a wide range of applications across different industries and aspects of modern life. Here are some common application areas. Communications systems. Telecommunications, mobile phones, landline phones, communication networks, and satellite communication. Internet and networking, routers, switches, modems, and data transmission technologies. Consumer electronics. Entertainment, televisions, radios, music players, gaming consoles, and home theater systems. Information devices, computers, laptops, tablets, e-readers, and smartwatches. Power generation and distribution.
power plants, generating electricity using various sources such as coal, natural gas, nuclear, hydroelectric, and renewable energy. Power grids, transmission and distribution of electrical energy to homes, industries, and businesses. Medical electronics. Medical imaging, X-ray machines, MRI scanners, CT scanners, and ultrasound devices. Medical devices, pacemakers, defibrillators, insulin pumps, and various monitoring devices. Automotive electronics. Engine control, engine management systems, fuel injection, and ignition control. Safety and driver assistance, airbags, anti-lock braking systems, ABS, collision avoidance, and adaptive cruise control. Industrial automation and control. Programmable logic controllers, PLC's automated control of industrial processes and machinery. Robotics, automation of manufacturing and assembly tasks in various industries. Aerospace and defense. Avionics, navigation, communication, and control systems in aircraft. Radar and sensors, detection, tracking, and surveillance technologies. Renewable energy systems. Solar power, photovoltaic panels, solar inverters, and energy storage systems. Wind power, wind turbines, and grid integration. Home automation. Smart homes, automated lighting, HVAC control, security systems, and smart appliances. Entertainment and media. Audio and video systems, amplifiers, speakers, display technologies, and streaming devices. Environmental monitoring. Weather stations, measurement and recording of weather conditions. Pollution monitoring, sensors for air quality, water quality, and environmental parameters. Research and development. Laboratories, electronics equipment used in scientific research and experimentation. These are just a few examples of the diverse range of applications in electronics and electrical engineering. The field continues to evolve, contributing to advancements in technology, improving efficiency, and enhancing our quality of life in various ways. Stable voltage refers to a consistent and unchanging voltage level over time and under varying conditions. In electrical systems, maintaining a stable voltage is essential for the proper operation of devices and equipment, as many electronic components and devices are designed to work within specific voltage ranges. Key points about stable voltage. Importance, many electronic devices, such as computers, smartphones, and appliances, require a steady and reliable voltage to function correctly. Fluctuations or variations in voltage can lead to malfunction, data loss, or even permanent damage to the device. Voltage regulation, voltage regulation is the process of maintaining a stable output voltage from a power supply, even when the input voltage or load conditions change. Voltage regulators are commonly used to achieve this. Power quality, stable voltage is part of ensuring good power quality in electrical systems. Power quality encompasses factors like voltage stability, frequency stability, absence of voltage sags or surges, and low harmonic distortion. Causes of voltage instability, voltage instability can occur due to factors such as fluctuations in the power grid, variations in load demand, poor grounding, inadequate power supply capacity, and changes in the source voltage. Voltage fluctuations. Voltage fluctuations can lead to issues like flickering lights, inconsistent performance of electronic devices, and reduced lifespan of equipment. Voltage stabilizers and UPS, voltage stabilizers, automatic voltage regulators, and uninterruptible power supplies, UPS, are used to provide a stable voltage output even when the input voltage is erratic or in case of power outages. Industrial applications, in industrial settings, stable voltage is critical for the proper operation of machinery, automation systems, and sensitive equipment. Voltage instability can result in production downtime and reduced efficiency. Sensitive electronics, sensitive electronic components and microprocessors are particularly vulnerable to voltage fluctuations. Many devices have built-in voltage protection mechanisms. Voltage monitoring, voltage monitoring systems can provide real-time data about voltage levels, enabling proactive measures to maintain stability.
Voltage regulation techniques. Voltage regulation can be achieved using various techniques, including passive methods such as resistors and transformers, and active methods such as voltage regulators and power electronics. Transient voltage, rapid changes in voltage, known as voltage transients or spikes, can also affect devices negatively. Surge protectors and transient voltage suppressors are used to mitigate these effects. Ensuring stable voltage is a fundamental aspect of electrical system design and operation. Proper voltage regulation helps prevent equipment damage, data loss, and safety hazards while contributing to the reliability and longevity of electrical and electronic devices. In summary, electric current is the flow of charged particles through a conductor in response to an electric field. It's a vital concept in understanding how electricity works and is essential for designing, analyzing, and working with electrical circuits and systems.